Welcome to J Stern Designs. Today I want to talk about jean zippers. I've been using a jean zipper that has um, just a little bit more than a 3 8 inch wide zipper tape on either side of the teeth. And all along I've been teaching my jean workshops and my professional construction techniques and I've suggested that to get a nice even 3 8 inch seam allowance you need to offset the seam. And that does work, and you can get a very nice result doing that. It's just that it gives you one more thing that you have to keep track of. I got a zipper from my friend Marie from her stash to work on my Japanese denim jeans. The zipper tape was really wide. It was 5 eighths inch wide on each side. So I was able to sew my 3 8 inch seam allowance when I sewed the zipper to the zipper seam allowance without offsetting my seams. And that just made it a much nicer um, thing to do and it was much easier to keep everything accurate. So I called the YKK zipper company to see if I could order those wider zippers so I could have them available. And I found out that they don't make that anymore. But they do make one that's got a half inch wide um, zipper tape. So I'm going to do a little test and I'm going to show you the difference between using the narrower 3 8 inch um, tape and then the wider half inch tape. Okay, here I have the two different zippers that I'm going to test today. This is the zipper that I've carried for a long time. It's a nice YKK zipper that has the um, locking pull. So see, I can, it'll stay up, it'll stay straight up. Um, and it's got, you know, it's got very nice teeth. It works really well. But you can see it's a little bit narrower than this zipper that I just ordered. Um, the zipper tape on this zipper is a half an inch wide. And you can see that the tape itself, I think, is a little bit more hefty. So I wouldn't use this in pants, per se. I'd probably use this zipper in pants or a nylon coil in pants. But for jeans, you want a heavy-duty zipper. Um, the pool is a little more substantial as well. Um, but it still stays nice and flat. You know, it's got a very low profile. If you were to look at it from the side, it doesn't stick up. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to try these two zippers using um, my little mini Daisy Duke front uh, leg pattern. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these zippers right sides together with the zipper seam allowance like this. And I'm going to sew them on using a 3 8 inch seam allowance and you'll see um, what the differences are using the more narrow and then the wider zipper tape. Okay, to make it really obvious um, what my 3 8 inch seam allowance is, I'm actually going to draw it right on my fabric so I have a line to follow. So I'm just going to use my pencil and I'm just going to draw my seam allowance. So that's my stitching line right there. And let me just do it to the second one that I'm going to use for my wider zipper as well. So they'll all be done in one shot. So I'm just going to draw the zipper seam allowance on this one as well. And I'm just going to line it up with my zipper seam allowance. And I'm going to make sure that my edges are matched, like so. And I'm just going to put one pin just to hold it for me, like that. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the sewing machine. I'm going to start with the narrow zipper and I'm just going to flip the, I'm going to flip my denim so it's right side up so I can see the line I drew. And I'm just going to use my zipper foot. I'm going to adjust my needle so it's right on the line. Oops. I'm using pink thread so you can see. I'm 
just going to move my needle over and I'm going to stitch keeping my zipper even with my fabric. When I get to the top, I have to lift my presser foot up and zip my pull down before I get too close. And I can just finish stitching. All right, so let me just do the um, wider zipper and then we're gonna compare um, how they worked out. So I'm just going to put this right sides together and I'm going to put the zipper face down. I'm going to get my, I'm just going to stitch right along. Now notice um, this zipper is longer than I need and that's okay because remember I can trim it down to what I need after my zipper is constructed and I put my waistband on. The other nice thing about working with a zipper that's too long is I don't have to unzip like I had to on the one I just did. All right. So you see I can stitch all the way to the top without having to unzip my zipper. All right, so let's compare these two zippers now. And you can see that on the narrower zipper, let's start with that one, um, it's really close to the zipper teeth. And if I were going to try to zip that up, I mean, I could, but the edge of the pool is rubbing against the fabric because it's so close to the zipper teeth. let's compare the wider one. You can see the wider one gives you a nice breathing room between the zipper teeth and the folded edge of the fabric. It's much nicer. And I can unzip it very easily as well. Okay. If you have any questions about jean zippers, please leave me a comment on the Quick Tips page or send me an email at info at jsterndesigns.com. Thanks for watching.